it is about time that we start a brand new build project here in my survival world. Following that we've just finished the underground subway network, which was a very long and treacherous journey, uh, longer than I anticipated anyways, uh, I think it is about time that we start something new. So I've spent a couple days looking through you guys' suggestions and, you know, contemplating what builds I might actually like doing and I finally landed on an idea. My next build project for my survival world is going to be the one, the only, the Burj Khalifa. Obviously it's going to be reaching to the sky limit and hopefully I'm going to try and install some redstone lamp systems so that we can have a little bit of a light show if you will. Um, obviously there's only so much you can do with redstone lamps for light show or whatever, but that's the goal that we're going to have a light show uh, able to be used at night time and stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's a pretty ambitious build, but I think it is going to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and get started on working on the preparation for it. I'm also going to be trying something a little bit different here. This is all going to be live streamed on Twitch. So if you're interested, go ahead and drop a follow on my Twitch shown on screen here. And uh, hopefully we can see you over there. Okay. I've spent some time marking out an area as we can see here. Uh, the area where we're going to be building this is outlined by these stone bricks. So this is actually, this area is 166 by 166. And it has taken me a long time to actually get this done because I didn't want to get too far into the ocean or take up this mountain or obstruct my uh, subway station. But yeah, this is the perimeter. As we can see, this Burj Khalifa is no tiny thing. Uh, you know. Ay. <laughs> but now I'm going to work on some deforestation. First stream, this is what we are looking like. We got some area started to get cleared out and I've set up some beacons so that I can have some haste to coverage all over the place. But now what I need to do is get rid of the trees and then flatten the land at least to Y equals 70 here because the height limit, the build height limit is 319. So if I uh, flatten this out to like Y equals 70, that leaves me with about a 240 tall 240 block tall building, which I think is about good, but I might even go lower than that. Um, so we'll have to see. I'm going to flatten it to 70 first, y equals 70 first, and then I can reevaluate if I want to, you know, mine it down even farther. Trees all gone. Now it is time to do some steamrolling and just flatten this place out, mine. So our next step is to go ahead and fill in these areas that are not y equals 70 with a layer of dirt so that we can have a nice little flat area across this entire thing. You can see that I've already started working on this and I've already used like three or four shulker boxes of dirt on this. So this is this place is actually going to be uh, way more resource heavy than I imagined. And I haven't even started the building yet. So I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous here. But my plan for what the building is going to be made out of, I was thinking of some sort of glass, whether that's light blue glass, uh, blue glass, or cyan glass. I was thinking going to be one of those as it is, you know, like a glass exterior, the real Burj Khalifa. But I know that that is going to be so, so, so many blocks because I don't have any like duplicators or anything like that. So... Um, I'm probably gonna have to mine out an entire desert and then figure out how to smelt that much glass and then um, You know since it I'm thinking it'll be made out of glass Obviously, I don't want it to be completely see-through because I've seen some people and their Burj Khalifa builds and how they make theirs completely see-through I don't want to do that because obviously I'm gonna have the redstone lamps on it And you don't really want to be seeing that from like far away So I think inside the glass layer there's gonna be like a stone layer maybe um, you know, like at least one or two blocks deep in inside uh, of the glass wall. So hopefully that'll make it like not completely see-through, but it'll still be like a blue glass appearance and it won't look completely terrible. So it has been about a week since the last clip and we have fully completed a flat surface looking like a mini super flat world over here in the area so now we can really get a good visual on how big this space is it's pretty it's pretty massive but um my next step is going to be terraforming the sides because obviously this is pretty nasty you know luckily we don't have to terraform too far out in the ocean so hopefully we can uh you know not be too bad here and i think you know I'm, I've been considering some super smelter designs that I'm probably going to put underneath this thing since I do have a lot of hollow space 
underneath this platform and you know if i actually end up truthfully building this thing out of glass i'm going to need one seriously heavy duty uh super smelter so you know i gotta do some research on that as well so now we are a couple days later than the last video clip you might have seen but I have spent a lot of time and we have fully gotten this platform done and terraformed the edges so we can see that we have a nice little terraforming area with the little holes in it, but we will patch that. <laughs> but yeah, we got, we got the nice little terraformed area all the way around and then I you know, uh, trimmed the mountains as well so that everything seems to flow a little... Okay, I actually did not terraform any of this entire side. Let me try and fix that. There we go, that looks a lot better. So, what we're going to be doing now is I need to build the Burj Khalifa template. Now this, obviously the Burj Khalifa is like an equilateral triangle of, I guess, a bunch of cylinders, really. So, what I'm going to try and do is uh, build my template that I've already designed for the Burj Khalifa. And then once we get that in place, I will go ahead and give you guys some details on what this thing will be built out of. So now we are at the final part where we can actually start assembling some sort of a building here. So uh, what I've gone ahead and done is I started off my template for the Burj Khalifa. Now I've already designed this uh, template, you know, that's how I already knew the size of the platform I needed. And um, this is one of the three like directions it goes because for those of you that know what the Burj Khalifa looks like in real life, you know that it's a kind of an equilateral triangle uh, in some sort of sense. So this is one of the arms that one of the branches of the building and you can see just how big this thing is going to be. It's going to take up pretty much this entire thing and the blocks that I've chosen the blocks that I have chosen are not cheap whatsoever. So, what the plan is, is we're going to have an outside layer of light blue glass, okay? Inside that's going to be a layer of blue glass, okay? And then inside that layer is going to be polished deep slate. Now, the reason I'm picking those combinations, I tried it in the testing world and I felt that it was like a good bluish. And then the polished deep slate, you know, kind of makes it not see through, but you know, ha still have like, like darkish blue. And the polished deep slate hides redstone lanterns really nicely in the daytime. So that'll be good for when I want to do my lighting things and stuff like that. But I genuinely think once I get this full template in and actually start building, I'm going to need like at least maybe 100, maybe 200,000 sand blocks. And then I have to smelt them all and dye them all and build them all. So... This is, this is going to be quite, quite the project. Plus, all of that polished deep slate. Ooh, ooh. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build the rest of this template and then I will see you there. So here is our finished template. Now I believe that this is what it's, I'm going to be using for the actual build here so we can kind of see uh, our template. So obviously we got the equilateral triangle shape of the Burj Khalifa and then many individual cylinder parts kind of looking like and I just realized that I did not finish it. Yeah, so I just put in a couple more inside circles for the very top of the Burj Khalifa tower essentially but uh, yeah so we got the triangle here, triangle formation anyways with uh, the little cylinders that I broke up the building into. Now obviously I don't have that like base part of the real Burj Khalifa and I'm just deciding I'm gonna leave that part out um, improvise a little bit but yeah so now now is going to be the very laborious part of hundreds of thousands of blocks which I'll be doing over the next few streams for those of you who don't know already I stream on twitch and tiktok so make sure to follow those in the bio but uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video I hope you all enjoyed for those of you who made it as per usual, let me know any comments or concerns or ideas in the comments section. And, uh, yeah. Very excited to get working on this big bad boy. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye.